Good morning, YouTube viewers. It's way too early to be talking about that. Anyway, we left the hotel um, after multiple attempts to try to find a place to eat in Sevier or Pigeon Ford, rather. We have ventured out into Sevierville on our way back. I think we're going to try to stop at Flapjacks. We were trying to go to Five Oaks Farm Kitchen. I think is what it's called. Yes. It had a 45 minute to an hour wait. Then we tried Flapjacks in Pigeon Forge. It had a 35 to 45 to an hour and growing wait line or wait list or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, we're traveling now to try to get some food. Watching Thomas. <laughs> You're so sweet. So after all the searching and all the pancake houses in Pigeon Forge and Sevierville, we ended up having to go through Crystal's drive-through and grab some breakfast because this baby bee back here was starving. So we just parked in the parking lot and I fed him some biscuits and gravy. What is it? <laughs> Mild built down. Fed him some biscuits and gravy and some tiger tots and now we're on the road again. Okay, we're on the road again. We're headed to La Follette, Tennessee. Uh, we're going to be going to the North Cumberland Wildlife Management Area, which is ran by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Um, they have an elk tower out there. We're going to head out that way to check that out. Don't know if we're going to see any elk given the time of day. Maybe we'll get lucky. Who knows? It's me and Gabe are hanging out in the car because guess where we're not? We're not at the Cumberland State Park, like he said. We are, I don't even know where we are. Let's see. I, I don't know where we're at. He saw a ranger station for a state park. And so he's in there doing what he does. I'm telling you guys, when I say this is my life, this is my life. Help, send help. For real, it's not that bad. <laughs> So, where are we at? La Follette, Tennessee. Well, where are we at? La Follette, Tennessee. Where are we at? La Follette. What were you doing? Walking. What are we doing in La Follette, Tennessee? We're going to a wildlife management area. But where are we at right now? In a car. Where are we leaving? Uh, the road. <laughs> what? What were you doing? Cove Lake State Park. I see the sign now. That's where it is. Cove Lake State Park. Cove. She probably already told you where I was. I was inside a ranger station at Cove Lake State Park. Wow. At Cove Lake State Park. Because I am still trying to hustle to get their challenge coin. Unfortunately, since La Follette is what La Follette is, they don't have any. He didn't even know they existed. I had to explain to him what it looked like. And now he's searching for one. So I struck out again. The search continues. I have a question for you guys. Is it Waggles? Waggles. Weagles? Wiggles. <laughs> Waggles. I say waggles. I say waggles. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, 
It is a convenience store chain. Waggles. It's W E I G E L S. We Waggles. <laughs> Weagles. Waggles. 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 Weagles. How do you guys say it? Because we obviously have 5,000 different ways to say it. What we do know is they got good milk. They probably have good coffee, but he wouldn't stop and let me get any. I'm trying to find you a coffee place. Mama is not caffeinated this morning, and it is, oh, it's noon. Exactly 12 o'clock p.m., and I've had zero coffee. She's using her ninja hand. There's another ninja thing. What is it with this place? There's a lot of ninja stuff here. There's a Sonic. Weagles, waggles, waggles, waggles. Let us know. Wag. Definitely not an area that you want to come to in a car, like a regular top car. This is an SUV, truck, ATV. They have all-wheel drive. Yeah, we have all-wheel drive in David's car, or yeah, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't been able to do this, especially after it's rained. It might be okay. If it hasn't rained for several days, but even then, I don't think I would chance it in a, a smaller car. This particular area right here is not that bad, but some of what we've already came up, it got pretty rough. Right now we're trying to decide if we're going to be able to make it the rest of the way to the tower because um, we came into a really heavily muddy area um, so we're gonna we're gonna stroll through here and see if we can't make it she's saying it looks safe so here we go so we're on our way walking to an elk viewing tower we do have him on his leash again because if you look to the sides, there's big drop-offs. And he's quick. Up there is the elk viewing tower. Sorry for the heavy breathing. We just hiked like quite a ways and it was pretty much uphill. So 
Gabe, we came from that way. Gabe rode on mommy's shoulders for probably at least two thirds of the way. Because his little legs just couldn't take it anymore. They're out here looking for sheds. And there's elk poop all over the place, so maybe we will get lucky and he'll find one. It is pretty up here. Very peaceful. If you do come, it is a hike. I'm telling you. It's gravel, so it's not like a, an off-road trail, but I almost feel like the gravel made it worse because you kind of slip and slide the whole way up. But it's gorgeous up here in the summer. Everything's alive and blooming. We hear all the warmness you have but join us. This tree, your water, and my that tree, you have moved. This tree and my house, you know, you hold it. This tree all the time, you hold it. You hold it. You hold it. You hold it. And there you have your tree education with Gabe. This tree you hold you hold it. You hold it. You hold it. You hold it. I didn't know that. Alright, so we just finished up. Unfortunately, we didn't see any elk. Um, but I expected that given the time. Um, you really see them more in the morning and afternoon, late afternoon. Um, did a little bit of shed hunting. We covered about a mile. Uh, unfortunately, didn't find anything. Uh, but that's okay. We'll come back when we have more time um, and can uh, scout the area more. Right now we're just going to try to get out of here. Wish us luck. And I'll be back with you soon. So the good news is we made it past the tricky part. That was an area that was pretty muddy, which we spoke about coming in. Um, very questionable, but we made it, uh, which is good. So yeah, we're going to continue down the mountain. What is it? Trains. The trees? Train. The train? <clears throat> I don't see a train. Yeah. Okay, so we stopped in Knoxville to eat at one of my favorite delis. It's uh, Nixon's Deli on Merchant's Drive. Um, it's quite delicious. Um, me and Denise both got hoagies. Uh, I'm going to try to show you guys that. And uh, little man got some grilled cheese. So let me uh, show you guys what we got. And there is Gabe's basic grilled cheese. We're going to try to pan over here to the other. There is Denise's uh, delicious I'm sure and then, as usual the basic meat only which is the way it should be ate so we're gonna hop off here and uh, have some food if you don't like steam subs you might want to stay away from here because they do steam their subs but if you do like it have them uh, double steam it it's delicious um, so as you seen in the video they're pretty good sized sandwiches um, go ahead and give it a taste bite Taste bite. <laughs> Taste. Mm. It's superb as always. Super juicy. The meats are perfect. Um, everything is just well, well, well rounded. So I'm going to let you hop over to Denise, 
to tell you about hers and how she feels because she's got all the, uh, the rabbit food on it. So uh, let me switch over to her. Okay, so I got the hoagie also, but I get all of the good stuff on it. It's a good sauce sandwich. This is just, I mean, it's a 12 inch, so I mean, a typical 12 inch, but it is huge. The bread is super soft. It's delicious, and I've already been eating mine, but if you guys really want to see me take a bite, I will. Mm. Fabulous, as always. All right, Gabe, tell the world what you think about your sandwich. Is it good, Gabe? Proof is in the remains. I guess that jig means yes, it is good. Hey, Gabe, is that good? Is it yummy? There you go, folks. You heard it from him. Okay, folks, we're still on the porch. As we mentioned earlier, we or in the previous video, um, we are splitting up our footage from the few days that we were away and do a couple of videos. That way we don't bore you guys to death in the really long one. Uh, so we're going to pick up with Saturday. When we left the hotel Saturday, we decided to go get breakfast. Uh, Denise has been wanting to try a restaurant up there that's got really good reviews. It's called uh, Five Oaks Farm Kitchen. So we headed out that way, got there, or at least to the red light before we turned in there, noticed it was extremely crowded. So I contacted them and there was a 30, to, no, 45 minute to an hour wait. So we decided not to go there. And we decided at that point, we were just gonna go to Hardy's. Um, so on the way to Hardy's, I get to the red light, ready to turn and she changed her mind. And eventually we'll get this conversation on camera. It's quite comical. It's a battle. Anyway, uh, let's go to the... Flapjacks. Pancake house called Flapjacks. So, okay, sounds good. I can go for some pancakes again. Pull in. It is packed. So I call and uh, they have a 30 to 45 minute to an hour and growing and that's pretty much how they worded it so that's not going to work so we decided to leave there and there is another uh, flapjacks in Kodak Tennessee which is on the way to the interstate so we decided to go there this time I'm going to be smart so I called on the way there and they say it's a 15 to 20 minute wait so it's like okay cool why I didn't check in on the phone right then and there we're gonna pay for it <laughs> so we get there and it's a 30 minute wait and Gabe's not having it he's hungry he's hungry so we decide to go across the street to the most fabulous place in the world especially when nothing else is working out crystals that's right home of the gut burgers <laughs> um, so we go across the street we're gonna get ready to go in she's undoing his uh, car seat to get him out or undoing him out of his car seat I can't talk <laughs> you know what I mean I was unbuckling him yep <laughs> that thing doors locked lobby's closed <laughs> I don't know why because the, the lobby seemed to be set up for social distancing so I have no idea what's going on there so we ended up going through the drive-thru and sitting in the parking lot and eating uh, it was uh, crystal sunrisers for me and her and biscuits and gravy as usual for Gabe um, they were good mm -hmm. <laughs> not much more to say there um, or well, we were really hungry one <laughs> yeah both uh, we went from there we traveled to La Follette Tennessee where we went to Sunquist wildlife management area which I believe is part of the North Cumberland wildlife management area uh, more specifically, we went to the um, elk viewing tower. Um, 
the purpose of the trip was to see some elk hopefully I have personally never seen an elk in person I've seen it on videos and you know footage or not footage but photographs never in person um, and the other point was to shed hunt and for those that are joining us for the first time um, elk deer and the such they all shed their antlers um, and typically elk shed between March and April so I was hoping that maybe they would have shed and it's a highly congregate congregated area for these elk um, so I was hoping to, to find something out there so we get to the mountain and which is a it's a trip let me tell you there, there's stormtroopers and windows <laughs> there is a spa <laughs> called a spa kid you not not a h a a a a a a a a a spa spa <laughs> another day for that one <laughs> um <laughs> So, we're at the bottom of the mountain, fixing the trek up. Everything looks good. It's an off-road um, trail, I guess is what we would call it. So we're going up. Barely big enough for two vehicles. Uh, it starts getting pretty muddy. And it rained the day before, and I believe that morning as well. And there were some areas that were pretty muddy. And then we reached probably three quarters of the way in to our destination on top of the mountain. And there's an area that's just very questionable. Thankfully, I have a oh, wife who sorry. grew up in the south. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a country bumpkin. Mm -hmm. So she is skilled in the art of reading mud. <laughs> She's the mud whisperer. So. I can four wheel at the best of them. It was safe to go across. And it wasn't going down because there's a little, little downgrade there that I was worried about. I was coming back that I was honestly worried about because uh, I'm, I'm in a small SUV with all-wheel drive. Um, my previous vehicle was a Hummer, so I thought I could conquer the world, and I still feel that way with this one. Uh, so yeah, uh, we ventured on, got to the top, and then there's about a half a mile trek from where you park to the elk viewing tower. So we begin the trek. And there are people leaving out, groups of people, um, which I was kind of surprised to see so many people there, to be honest with you. Um, they're all winded, sweaty, telling us good luck, super long trek, don't let the halfway point, you know, trick you. There's a shortcut, super steep, uh, then another good luck, it's a long trek. Don't know what these people are talking about. Although uphill, it wasn't that bad. Um, but we do trail walk hike quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that plays a huge part, but these people obviously had never walked before. <laughs> because <laughs> it, it's a half a mile uphill, it wasn't that bad. Um, it was kind of loose gravel on the trail going up. Mm -hmm. So maybe that played a part. I know Game had a little bit of issues there. Um, mid. Saw. Yeah, sorry. Midway through, it was uh, hiking on the back of her back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he wanted to ride on my shoulders again. Mm -hmm. That seems to be one of his favorite pastimes now is riding on shoulders. Yep. He started it, yep. but I get the benefits of that. <laughs> so I try. Um, he did offer, um, but gave one and mommy. So yep. now in the video, you'll notice that I was probably pretty winded at the <laughs> the field after we came up that hill because I mean I'm not a little girl already but I added another almost 40 pounds of weight to my shoulders coming up that hill and that made it a little more strenuous yep. but the people we passed they had no kids on them so I don't and we're in shape for the most part yeah I'm not sure they never walked it's the only explanation <laughs> Uh, so we get up to the top, um, real nice area. Um, there's probably 15, 20 acres of just open land with some tree lines. Um, so decided to go on and just start shed hunting because there was no elk in the field or any other animals of that sort. Um, 
A lot of scat. <laughs> uh, Poop, for those of you who don't know what that is. <laughs> there was elk, possibly deer too. Um, bear. Bear. Uh, oh, I can't think. Uh, rabbit. Mm -hmm. What we can only assume to be Bigfoot poop. Mm -hmm. um, Possibly like that was <laughs> that. No, this is <laughs> this is serious. That turd was like this. I kid you not. He means the entire cup, not just the, yeah, yeah, the entire the cup. whole cup. It yeah. was massive. Um, yeah. Bigfoot, sure. Holly, that's for you. <laughs> Big po Bigfoot poop proof. It's all. <laughs> I, I really, I, I really don't know what it was. Um, and and some more that was possibly a red wolf or coyote or bobcat. Or bobcat. All kind of the same there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there was a lot out there. Um, unfortunately, no sheds. And for those who are just joining us, have already said this. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> My bad. It's late. <laughs> so yeah, no sheds. <laughs> yeah. uh, we covered about a mile. At um, least a mile. We're out there a couple hours. Um, and for those of you who do shed hunt, and for those of you that don't shed hunt, um, it you could go four miles and never see one. Um, so it's hit or miss, and they may still be holding on to it. So I'd like to go back and check that out. Guy strip. Yeah. Um, so it was, overall, it was great. It's really pretty up there, like I said. Um, definitely worth the trip. Now on to my pet peeves and my anger from the trip. Um, a lot of OHV trails, so there was a lot of off-roaders up there. Um, there were several groups that came up, and uh, when they debarked, I think that's the, the word I'm looking when for. When they got out of their cars. Yeah, and I, I don't know what I'm thinking. Off-road vehicles. Um, they began to drink, and um, heavily. That necessarily isn't an issue, other than the driver was drinking, and there was children involved. Um, drinking, driving, and mountains don't go together. So especially not muddy ones. Yeah, yeah, definitely with major drop-offs. Mm -hmm. um, so that was anger point one. Uh, point two is when we left the area or the trail from the Elk Tower, the remnants of their drinking was left behind. And we stopped at a wildlife observation area on the way down, also covered in um, beer cans. And then all through there off the side of the mountain, trash. Yes, and even at the tower, there was trash uh, we had left the field yeah. prior to David, and I took Gabe up to the Vincent area at the tower, and there was a little bench, so I sat him down so he could rest a little bit, and there was trash up there, so. Which is really sad, because it is a wildlife management area, um, and with a species that just, well, it disappeared from the state, actually, elk. Uh, had been pretty prevalent in Tennessee. There's accounts all the way back to the 1800s, but early settlers pretty much diminished the populations for uh, over hunting. Um, so they reintroduced those several years back, and it's a thriving herd. Um, and seeing that is upsetting. Um, not only does it take away from the beauty of Tennessee, but it's and it's harming our nature. And, or the environment rather and uh, definitely the wildlife mm -hmm. so one don't drink and drive especially with kids on a mountain and please clean up after yourself mm -hmm. um, if not for the environment for the wildlife yeah. um, we would have cleaned up on our way out but we didn't have anything to put it in and I mean, it's one thing, if you carry a water bottle in somewhere, you can carry that same water bottle out. Exactly. Put it in your car, throw it away when you get home. And they had coolers. They could have tossed mm -hmm. it right back in there. I mean, yeah. um, again, doesn't solve the drinking issue. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're watching and you're one of those people, please clean up. Mm -hmm. Please don't drink and drive, especially with children on a mountain. 
<laughs> um, safe. Be respectful. Definitely. And I'll also, I'm going to link below um, some possible uh, sign-up locations if you want to help with cleanup. We're going to go and do a cleanup soon uh, here in our area. So I'll see what I can find and link it below in case anyone else is interested in doing that. Yeah, I belong to the Wildlife Society at my school. And um, we're going to be working with uh, TWRA, which is Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency, and TWRF, Tennessee Wildlife Resources Foundation, and what we're calling the Thousand Acre Cleanup Project. Um, basically, we're going to be doing roughly 2.1 miles of cleanup uh, outside of the Hawassi Refuge, uh, which is out in, I believe, Polk County, mm -hmm. Tennessee. Um, so hopefully you guys will get to join us with that. And uh, there's many other opportunities in Tennessee. It's Tennessee Clean. Um, it's a new project that has been put together um, to try to bring beauty back to Tennessee, which also benefits the environment and uh, wildlife. Uh, so please take the time, sign up, come out and help. Um, and I believe that's about it. Mm -hmm. Nixon's. Oh yeah, Nixon's. I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. forgot about that, man. <laughs> so on the way home, we stopped at one of my favorite uh, delis, uh, which is Nixon's Deli. Uh, there's one on Merchants Drive. There's a couple on Kingston Pike. Um, or not? I'm sorry, not Kingston. There's one on Kingston Pike and one in Cedar Bluff. Used to be one in Oak Ridge. I don't know if that's still there or not. Um, and these are in the Knoxville area. Yeah, Knoxville area. Um, man. I don't know what to say about it. it it's fantastic. Um, it was one of two of my favorite delis. The other one was Vic and Bill's, but unfortunately the uh, owner's health declined and the family just wasn't able to keep it open very long after that. So uh, Nixon's is all I got left and I am very picky with delis, especially after having Vic and Bill's. So Nixon's, you guys have to stay open. Don't disappoint me. Because I will come to your house and eat your food there. No, we won't. <laughs> no. But I'll call and ask if I can. Just just one sub. That's all I need. <laughs> one one every few months, please. Yes. And these are, I mean, they're not like a Subway sub. No. I mean, it's the same concept, but they are steamed, like, not like Firehouse, steaming Perfection. the meat. These are the full sub is steamed, bread and all. So uh, he gets his double steamed, yeah. which... To me, it's just a little too soggy, but... It reminds me of crystals. The... <laughs> the gray goop. It's good. I didn't eat crystals for months after he told me about gray goop. <laughs> but, um... Just the same to once is good for me. I like it that way. Yeah. And Gabe liked it, actually, so... Mm -hmm. Of course, he didn't have any meats on his sandwich. He had a, he a had grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. But, uh, that's a start. So, if you guys know any good delis, again, not Firehouse, not Subway, mm -hmm. not Jimmy John's, not Witch Witch, not any of those, mm -hmm. like your little hole-in-the-wall restaurants, or delis, rather, mm -hmm. if you know any, please, in this area, anywhere in Tennessee, please drop it in the comments and let us know so we can go check it out, because I would like to find something a little closer. Mm -hmm. You're talking an hour and a half drive for a sandwich, which I don't mind. But and we do have to try out Parton's Deli in Gatlinburg. Yeah. Heard really great things about them. Yeah. I had it once, I believe, years and years and years ago, but I couldn't tell you if it was fabulous or not. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't think I've ever ate there. I think you grew up in there. Yeah. I grew up with some of them. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Was I think it? That was everything. That was it. So, uh, again, take the time try to find some areas even if you're not in Tennessee if you have some uh, resources available to you to help uh, with wildlife and with the environment please do so mm -hmm. um, be safe be smart um, and uh, I think that's gonna do it for us mm -hmm. so until next time she's gonna try to <laughs> sync with me it's not gonna work live, live the, the life, life you, you love. love see threw her off <laughs> I knew I would I was trying though Anyway, live the life you love and join us next time. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. I don't know why I didn't say that beforehand, but please do so. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Ran out of words. Morning and evening. Just kill it.
laughing at me. Well, that was cool looking. 